How do you get that super crisp, clean, sizzly vocal without it sounding harsh? Today I'm gonna show you a trick that will help you do just that. Hey everyone, Cole Kepper in here. Thank you for stopping by for another video. Today I wanna go over one particular mix trick, one technique that will really go a long ways to help you get a smoother vocal sound without sacrificing all the airy, breathy, sizzly qualities that you may love about the best mixes that we have today. Now getting this super airy, breathy, sizzly, crisp vocal that sits right up in your face in the mix without sibilance being overbearing is the trick. Because by the time you have all of the air and all the sizzle and all the breathiness you want in your vocal to get that super modern crisp sound, chances are your sibilance is out of control. Now I've developed a trick, a certain technique that I'm gonna show you today that will help you get all of that crispy, sizzly, breathy airiness in your vocal without your sibilance running away and being too harsh. There's going to be links in the description below for the plugins that I'm using for this and for all the rest of the gear that I use. Those links go to Sweetwater. Sweetwater is sponsoring this video if you use any of the links in the description to buy anything you ever need. It goes a long ways to help support this channel and help me keep making videos like this. So thank you very much, Sweetwater, for sponsoring this video and thank you to you for using the links in the description anytime you need to buy anything. Let's check out this technique. So this is a song by Matt Rogers. I'll put links to all of his socials and everything down below. I've produced a ton of stuff for him before. There's also a playlist down below to a whole bunch of stuff that I've worked on. If you wanna hear other songs that I've worked on, you can go hit the link in the description below and listen to a bunch of stuff. But please go check Matt Rogers out as thanks for him letting me use this song and this vocal in this video. Okay, so I'm gonna play you a quick second of this song so that we kind of get the vibe of the song. Here we go. What's the rush? Why we always live in a million miles a minute? So that's the vibe of the song. Now that vocal was actually recorded on the Lawton Audio Atlantis microphones, become quickly become one of my very favorite microphones. I'll put a link to it down below as well. Now this is a finished vocal chain. This mix is done, it's been approved. Uh, this is not mastered, but I took the de-esser off just so I could show you how to set this up. So I'm sure you can do this with multiple different multi-band compressors, but the one that I like is the FabFilter multi-band. Uh, and we're gonna set up two bands here for this de-esser. The first, so we're just gonna click on it, we're gonna do a high shelf here, and then we're gonna click right here. Now every vocal is gonna be slightly different uh, in terms of their frequency points. So I will slide these around here and adjust these frequency points based on what is necessary for the vocal. So let's get this figured out real quick. Let's figure out where the, the bottom end of the sibilance is for this vocal. What's the rush? Okay, so that's about it right there. Somewhere in the like 6,500 to 7K range. Now, you can see that his voice and lots and lots of singers are just like this. Um, this range right here, this like 2K to 6K range, is where a lot of the presence of the vocal lives. It's where a lot of the clarity of the vocal lives. So you don't want to just run a de down there because it'll constantly be like that vocal itself will be activating the de and you'll get a really dark mix. But this is one of the spots where the sibilance of a vocal is the harshest. So we're going to click on this lower band right here. We're going to go into the expert tab. We experts over here. And we're going to change this from band to free. And basically what this does, now this blue line here, this is going to allow us to change the frequency that triggers this band. And so we're going to pull this all the way up here to the highest end. And let's make it pretty narrow to make sure it doesn't it doesn't get triggered by any vocal. So what we want is we want this band to only compress during sibilance. So let's take a listen. What's the rush? Why we always live in a million miles a minute? Okay, so you can see if we were on band here, it would be compressing all the time. What's the rush? Why we don't want that. We only want it to compress during sibilance. So when you go over to free, then you can fine tune this frequency range Range, what frequency you want to trigger this part of the de-esser. Uh, now, I always 
pull the attack and release fastest, and I usually put the knee to hard, and I'm going to do that on both bands here. Um, and then you can play around with these settings from there. What's the rush? Why are we always live in a million miles? And then I usually just adjust the threshold here so that way it's not compressing at all unless some sibilance is happening, some T's, some S's, that sort of thing. What's the rush? Why are we always living a million miles a minute? What's enough? Word about getting more than So what you really want to do is you want to play around with these crossover frequency points here. This gets changed for every single vocal. Uh, this is also my first plug-in in the vocal chain every time on every vocal no matter what. Uh, so you want to play around with these frequency points and then play around with this band right here so it's actually accomplishing what you want it to accomplish. Like I said, I like fastest attack, fastest release, and I like the knee to be pretty hard. You can adjust the, how subtle or how drastic you want this, but this is the basis. And basically this lower frequency range here, that's where a lot of the harshness and the aggressiveness of sibilance lives. But if you just cut that out, and if you don't trigger it from the top end, then you just end up with a dull, flat, muffly sounding vocal. This is how you get your vocal super clear, super open, but with very tame sibilance. I have yet to find another DSing trick that works as well as this to accomplish that exact goal that I want to accomplish. Don't forget links in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Hit the bell icon next to the subscribe tab. And thank you guys for following along. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.